Okay guys, Jay's Audio Lab has finally wrapped up and uh, I've spent uh, the last two days. Yeah, two, I mean, two days non-stop. Non-stop non grinding. Stop. Yeah. And for those of you who want to know what was done here, we had a room that was basically in... I mean, it was an empty shell. So as you see right now in the yeah. pictures I'm, playing, I'm showing you on the screen, this was the room when I arrived. So there were a lot of boxes everywhere. We have furniture laying around. We have nothing outside of the boxes. Mm -hmm. We have to set up the artisanal stands. Uh, so I worked on that with Tika. The end result is what you guys see here. Okay. So just to give you guys a little bit of an understanding of what I did here is I connected Wilson Audio Alex. This is not the V, the new one. These are the former MK1 Alexes. Block Audio Monos that you guys have seen over the last uh, maybe 12 months. A lot of talk about the Block Audio brand. Block Audio preamplifier right here. You also have the Allrender W20 SE. You have the DCS Rossini with the DCS clock as well, okay? And of course, let's not forget about the monster, Darth Vader's son, the Mephisto. Which is amazing. It's amazing. Effortless power. I fell in love with this amp by watching his videos over YouTube. And I'm like, man, if this is even half as good in real life as it sounds on, on YouTube, uh, it's going to be life changing as an audio file, right? And and it's amazing. And, and it isn't even broken in. And this is yeah, it's brand it's new. Not brand new. So I saw they yeah. saw you, you know, on um, peeling the peeling off, yeah. peeling off the wrap, the, the you know, and all of that. So, you know, what I wanted to tell you guys is, of course, two different presentations: Block Audio and Griffin. I may do a video in the future as far as how the Griffin sound compares to Block Audio. For now, of course, what they need to know is both brands delivered oh, in space. Both brands are excellent, very different presentations yeah. of, of the music, very, very different. I can't say one is better than the other. It's, you know, I, I like all different types of flavor of ice cream, but yeah, it's still ice cream. <laughs> you, you have the blessing to be able to afford it too and have this level of equipment that most folks have never even seen in person. Um, in addition to that, we use synergistic research cables which I sold to him. These right. were my former, my, the former loom of synergistic cables that I had in my room. Uh, we're using a Shunyata Omega Everest and some Shunyata power cords as well. So yeah, that's basically, a, you know, and our, these are the new master Kio stands that you guys have seen on my channel. So we're using those on the block audio. The Mephisto is using the model below the master Kio stand, which is a smaller stand from Artisania, but it's still capable of capable of handling the Mephisto's weight, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, I wanted to say that it has been a lot of work dialing things in. We have ran into some hurdles. We have. It hasn't been smooth sailing. But he was, no, we're dealing with it. Yeah. You know, he was just informing me that in Puerto Rico, power is very unstable. So he has outages, but he has a, a generator. Yeah. So one of the things that we encountered today was the fact that the Mephisto is showing a warning on the front that says AC face. Typically that's an error that I used to get in my room when I was connecting the Mephisto into two separate outlets that were out of phase, that were not in the same phase. So that would be an indication that the Mephisto was just letting you know that they were not in phase. When I saw that here, I immediately knew, immediately knew the issue. But when we actually move both power cords into the same outlet, the error remains. Finally, after I started thinking, it just dawned on me. He has a generator in right. the house right now. Generator is running right now. So, of course, this is why we have the AC phase error on the Mephisto. Once the real power comes back up, that error will go away. Okay, but it took me a minute to understand what was happening because yesterday we had no issues right. with it. There was no errors whatsoever. Now, it plays just fine. That doesn't really hinder performance. Um, I like what I'm hearing. Now we had another obstacle, the Pandora here. Right. We're having an issue with the Pandora's right channel. It's not playing. I thought it was an umbilical problem, umbilical cord problem. It's working fine, that's not the issue. I thought it was a blown fuse, I checked them. Still no, no sound from the right channel. So that's gonna have to go back to the factory for repair. Um, and that's fine, we'll get addressed. Talk to me about 
what your expectation was. You showed me your room, right. and it was bare. I had nothing. Was, I had, we had none of this and, treatment for that. And you guys have, you know, your glasses. You saw the glass windows that right. look outside into the bay, and you know, and the room is not your typical audiophile room. No, right? Yeah. It isn't. But I will say, yeah. and I'm here to raise my hand and be honest. I think the Alex ear sounds better than it did in my room. And I told you this today. You did, which is incredible. I mean, that's incredible. I was extremely blown away by the bass performance of the Alex in this room. Something that I can't say I got in my room. But it goes to show you that no speaker is universal. Right. Meaning that they don't always work in every room. Well, let's talk about the room treatments for a minute. Yeah, because, let's go. You know, when I got the estimate for this, these room treatments, I had to pick up my jaw off the floor. I mean, it was really crazy expensive. People are giving comments about the back wall. People love the the aesthetics and the you know I mean, the way it looks. It, it looks amazing. It looks expensive. It, it does. It, but what really what I'm blown away by is I mean, Jay and I were talking about you know how much do you think that the room treatment really adds to the overall presentation? Jay's saying you know thirty percent. I mean, that's Incredible, because if we didn't have this, this is not a great room to set up a stereo in. I've got all these windows here, these ceilings aren't super high, I've got you know bare walls there, I've got a, a, a tile floor. I mean, this could have been just an echo chamber. Higher. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I was thinking, and for the record, I know you guys heard a video, um, and you were questioning me because you thought the speakers are too far apart. Right, right, a lot of people were saying that, yeah. But it's off axis, the video is, sh is shot off axis. Right. So when you do that, you really can't gauge distances quite yeah, well. It's only about 10 but, feet. Yeah, it's about 10 feet apart, right. and they're about 10, the seat, the main seat is about 10 feet away. So we have a very, very good equilateral triangle, okay? It's just marvelous what I'm hearing. I mean, the, the imaging, the punch, yeah, the, the slam, the sound stage. Yeah. Your wife commented that she doesn't understand how she hears so much information between the speakers just right. lingering in the air, hanging, yeah. suspended. So she was almost freaked out because yeah. she said it <laughs> felt like it was magic yeah. because she heard no speaker right. and she heard a book. She heard all kinds of information all over the place. Yeah, I mean the speakers are are disappearing. Yep. you've got imaging separation. It's I mean it's everything that I dreamed of. Uh, you know, if this has been a t for me. It's been a twenty year journey. To get here, it's not like overnight, right, and right. you know, I put together this dream room. Right, it's been a long process. And for everybody watching, I've got to say, Jay, if it was not for your videos, this room would not exist. Thank you, man. You Appreciate are moving it. the needle on high-end audio, right. and you're doing it, you know, for for people that ordinarily, like, I don't have the time to go to right. forty different shows and yeah. twenty different stores and right. listen to forty different amps. I just don't have that time, and. You just have these no-nonsense presentations. I love the, the blind A and Bs that you do. And man, you've educated me. You've made me a better consumer. You've made me a better buyer. Something like this, if I tried to do it by myself, it, it, I, I mean, I, I could do it, but it would take me maybe three or four years to get here. I'd have to go through hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. It would. It, it would have just taken me so long and cost me so much more money. Trial and error. Trial, yeah, the trial and error. error. It's it's yeah. been. I knew I made the right decision when I reached out to you and I said, "I love this presentation. I want to get this in my room. I want you to be the man that, that comes here and puts it together." You know, I was super clear about what I wanted. Yeah. You know, you told me what what you were able to do, and you know, like it took seven months to get this together. Right. I mean, most, most people this, don't know this yeah. had been in storage essentially right. since last year. Okay, but because he was traveling, then COVID hit. Yeah. It was a disaster towards the end of the year. Um, and then were, the supply chain. Right. Like, like these yeah. things here, they took six months before they even got, got, were able to ship. And then they had to be on a boat for another month before yeah. they could get here. Right. So, you know, there was a lot that went into it. I, I, you know, we had to get the place repainted. We had to move. You can see that maybe they can see there's a hole in the wall over there. We had to move the lighting because it wouldn't fit because wow. of these sound right. I see that. So. I'm ordering new uh, light fixtures uh, to go up, awesome. uh, to go up, and, to go up in the wall. Very pretty. Yeah. Um, I can say one thing here, and again, I feel proud to say that what we have done here turned out to be—I mean, it went far and above my expectations. I mean, I did not expect it to sound as good as it does. It almost taught me too a lot, basically, based on what you have done to the room. 
Um, I may even have something like this in the future in my, and remove my screen. There are, there's just so many ideas right now that this room has given me because of what I'm hearing. I mean, I am hearing a lot of great qualities and I'm even willing to say that, though I probably will say this right now, this is probably the best system in Puerto Rico, hands down. I would not be shocked if this is the best sound system in the entire island of Puerto Rico that I put together here with him and that I am proud to say it is my body of work and, it and I, I have my name on it, okay? I am extremely excited to be able to bring this to a whole different part of the world, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and that the results are so astonishing. Right. I, I can't wait to get some local audio files in. Oh wow! And uh, connect you guys together and, and stop building some, so, some of my friends. That would be so amazing. Yeah. Um, to be able to just connect the more people that want to do this level of work. Um, for me, it was even relearning what I already knew because it has been a while since I've owned the DCS. Yeah. Right now I'm running an MSB. Right. So to remember how to connect the clock, the settings on the clock, and then to remember what goes where, it, even the settings of the block audio. Right. So it, I had to revisit and look at the manuals myself. So I, it, it was great for me to learn again what I had already known right. last year, but because I moved through gear so rapidly, yeah. sometimes you know you just seem to forget things and you need to kind of revisit. I have completely forgotten about the outstanding performance of the Alex. Right. When we threw them into the room, yeah. I was like, okay, here we go again. Like I started to remember what, what, my what, past. It was amazing. Like, we, we didn't have them spiked. We didn't even have them... Uh, Nothing. Like, like equal casters, casters. We just bunch of stuff in the middle. Space. Yeah, we just wanted to see if it worked. Yeah, yeah. And the sound was incredible. Incredible. Man. Yeah, incredible. So now that it's fine tuned, the right toe in, great bass, dispersion, uh, depth. It's got everything. The system here, I, I feel that it. I for a minute, I almost told you before arriving. Yeah. And I was thinking about this. I was going to tell you we might need subs. We right. might need subs. Yeah. Subwoofers. But absolutely yeah. not. So bass in here is incredible. It's just mind-boggling. Yeah. Yeah. It's mind-boggling the, the amount of bass that we get. But yeah. obviously the amplification is here too yeah. to support that function of the speaker. Um, for me, I feel proud to have accomplished what we have accomplished together. It's been over six months talking back and forth, right. putting our heads together to understand yeah. what we need to do each step of the, each step of the way. Yeah. And I liked. You know, I feel proud to say that this, to me, is one of the best systems I have ever heard in person.